I'd like to introduce Cathy White. Uh, she is an information officer and advocate in the Dublin Citizens Information Service, and she was formerly a, a carer support manager of the Carers Association. So she understands problems of people with disability and their need to access everything. So with pleasure, I now I'd ask uh, Cathy to come and take, give us our presentation. Hello. You're very, here, yes, but... here, that's right, Cathy. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for inviting me along here today. Um, I suppose I'm here primarily to speak to you about the Warmer Home Scheme. That is the free energy upgrade to your home to help um, with heating costs. Now, the free scheme primarily consists of um, attic insulation, cavity wall insulation, external wall insulation, internal wall, and secondary work such as lagging jackets, draft proofing, um, and energy efficient lighting. Now, new heating systems and windows are occasionally recommended, but they don't always come as part of the free system. The main criteria for the free scheme is you must own your own home. It must have been built and occupied before 2006. And you must receive one of the following payments. Primarily, you used to only have to have the fuel allowance to qualify, but they have opened it up now. So if you have job seekers allowance for over six months and you have a child or children under seven, you will qualify. If you have work and family payment, you will qualify. One parent family payment, domiciliary care allowance. Now, if you're on carer's allowance, you will qualify for the free scheme once you live with the person you're caring for. Or if you have disability allowance, like some people might be on disability allowance, but don't qualify for fuel allowance because you might have a slight income above uh, your disability allowance. So if you find yourself in that situation, uh, but you're on disability allowance and you have a child under seven, you will qualify for the free scheme. Um, now, how this one is a paper-only application, and the reason being, if you're applying um, under the fuel allowance or as a carer living with a cared for person, there's a form that has to be stamped by your local social welfare office. So this is why this one is a paper-only application. Now, I did bring along a couple of application forms, but if any of you need any more, if you have internet access, you can go on to the SEAI website and print off the application form. You can contact your local Citizens Information Centre and they will post out for application forms to you if you need them. And also, if any of you need any assistance with filling in forms, you can contact your local Citizens Information and pop along and we're more than happy to help you with application forms. Um, so I also brought along just a couple of information uh, booklets on the free scheme and how it works and guidelines for it. So that's the free scheme. Now there's another scheme called One Stop Shop Service, but that's where you actually have to pay for the work and you can claim grants back towards the cost of the work. The one-stop shop covers, if you're going to re retrofit your whole house for complete energy, so that would be uh, windows, doors, insulation, um, the whole lot, you do it all in one go, it's the one-stop shop. Now, that's an online application because you apply online, you give them details, then a surveyor will come out, check out your home, see what needs doing. Now, the same with the free scheme, once you apply, a surveyor will come out and they look at things like if you still have open fireplaces in your house, they will put in ventilation in the rooms where the open fireplaces are before they do any of the insulating, particularly the cavity wall <coughs> insulation. Then besides the one-stop shop, there's an individual um, energy upgrade. Again, this is a scheme you have to pay for, but you can claim grant back towards the cost of the work. The individual will be if you decided to do one thing, like replace windows or get the, the external walls insulated. 
Now, with the insulation, there's two different ways. There's where they pump um, stuff into the cavity blocks, or you can get what's called a wrap. So if you have the wrap done, the whole outside of your house will look slightly different because you could have brickwork, but they put the wrap on and then like they plaster over it. So you end up with these flat walls. So if you don't want to take the look off the outside of your house, the wrap is not for you. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> look, they're basically the schemes. Um, as I said, they're quite easy to go through and get to them. They're easy enough. Um, but as I said, your local citizens information service is quite happy to help if you need help with completing them. And I suppose just to let people know, we are a national service, so we're based around the country. If you want to find your local citizens information service, if you go onto our website, which is www.citizensinformation.ie, and up the top of the screen, you'll see a find your centre, and it gives you a drop down box with centres in the counties all around. And just because your nearest one could be a few miles away, there could be a satellite or an outreach centre um, attached to that one. So any questions about any of that? I'd like to start off with a question. I, I live in an, in an apartment and I wouldn't want any inside insulation uh, put in because I don't want to lose another inch of space. Uh, What's the situation as regards apartment blocks uh, and external, putting on the external wrap? That I cannot answer for you. You'd have to check that out with SEAI because I know in apartments they do tend to do internal and um, what they put on the wall, as you rightly say, you lose an inch of wall space on your external walls mm -hmm. because of the stuff they put, put on in. the walls, the, walls. the insulation boards and then plastering over. Okay, thank you very much indeed for that. <laughs> Has anybody got any other questions? I, I just want to, it's a clarifying question. So it's all of those schemes are with the SEAI, are they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The SEAI, they do all the energy grants. Now, I know some of you guys are concerned about the cost of heating at the moment, but if you're on a social welfare payment or a very low income, you can apply to the local community welfare service for a supplementary ex or an exceptional needs payment. Now, normally they will do that to help with the cost of really, really high heating costs. Um, I would advise get a letter from the GP stating about your condition and why you need extra heating and um, include that with your application. No, sorry, you were going to ask. Thank you. I just asked a question regarding the, um, the work or the <coughs> around the houses. Do you have to give the name of a person who's going to do this work for you or is, there, is it an agent of the, the, do they supply the contractor to do the work? SEAI have a panel of contractors and they will get them to carry out the work for you. So in other words, they're all approved contractors, no cowboys. I know. Yeah. No, they have to be registered and they're all registered with SEAI. Um, does that include sol solar panels? If you wish to get solar panels, not the last on. time we did solar panels there, you had to claim the rebate through your taxes. Now, if you're not walking, you can't do that. Yeah. The solar, solar panels are not included in the free scheme, but they are included in the ones where you pay for the work and then claim the grant back. But it's not through the tax? No. No. Okay. No. Um, how do we see now? I'll tell you now. Um, Okay, so the grant available for the solar panels is up to €2,400. But I suppose the amount of grant you get is tied in with how much you spend. Uh, 
Has anybody else got a question on the heating immediately? Well, in that case, I would like to thank Cathy very much for her coming here today. <laughs> Cathy, you have given us a lot to think about, no and at problem. least we know where to go now to get the uh, information and to follow it up in our own individual cases uh, so that we can stay as warm as possible, over the, particularly over the winter months.